What's going on guys? So a couple weeks ago, I got some new new wheels and tires and I wanted some old school steel rims and I wanted them in all black. But they had this pinstriping, the red and blue pinstriping. That's the only way the only way it was available. I don't know if it's due to COVID or what's going on, but when I ordered it, there was 12 rims or wheels left in the country. So I was one of three people that got to order these. But what I can tell you is I hate pinstriping on there. So today I'm going to show you how I used some acetone and a rag for about eight bucks and was able to get that pinstriping off. You know how I know how it works? That's the other wheel right there. I'm going to take you along the ride for the last wheel. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright, so here's what I did. So, step one, I took my truck through its annual car wash. Just to get all the mud and the dirt off the rims or the wheels. I don't know if it, are they rims? Are they wheels? I don't know. Not that much into it. Next thing, got some gloves. The acetone's kind of nasty. This is one of, one of the few things in life that I actually glove up for. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double glo double glove the uh, right side here. I didn't need a glove for my left side earlier. So from here, everybody needs to carry a pocket knife in their pocket. Preferably one that you can pry things open. So super simple. Just took a rag. This is the rag that I've been using. Just fold it up a little bit, create a nice little triangle. start up here so I think it's the best spot that you guys can see start rubbing there's definitely a difference between the chemical makeup of the blue and the red because the blue comes right off the red takes a little bit more scrubbing I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera there's still kind of a film on there, so what I do is it's part of the rag that doesn't have the acetone on it. It gets a little sticky. Now I'll hit it with the acetone again. And the rag, and I'll move it to a spot of the rag that doesn't have any paint on it. And I'll hit that black part again. Oh, last step. What I did before I started this process at all, I took some acetone on the rag and I rubbed it on the back of the rim just to make sure I wasn't going to take the black off because that would be that would be shitty. But anyways, so uh, so yeah, so I'll just put on a time lapse so you guys can watch kind of how long it takes. It takes about 20 minutes a wheel. So set aside about, I don't know, an hour and a half and you can get all this pinstriping out of your wheels. section of the wheel here 
So let me show you guys. That's what I was talking about. This blue. Crazy. Look how easy the blue comes off. I don't know what the deal is with the blue. Chemical makeup of that is different than the red or I don't know if it's positioning on the rim or what, but man. Wish the whole thing was like that. Now the red, you really gotta get in there. Hit it once. Recoat the rag. Now it's gonna start really coming off. You see that? Now you got the most of it off. There's kind of still like a red haze. One last time, hit it. times he's still feeling like in a couple spots it's kind of sticky which I hope that's not the black paint coming off but I don't think it is because the other ones I did earlier today and they look good look legit there it is all black the way it should have been from the store but it wasn't available Alright guys, hope you liked it. It was easy. Just use a little acetone and a rag. You know, I have this philosophy. I refuse to pay somebody to do somebody. I refuse to pay somebody to do something that I can do myself. If I was to take these somewhere and have them, you know, sandblasted and powder coated or whatever. I'm gonna end up with the same thing as this, probably. So, might as well spend a couple hours on a Sunday evening, do it myself. A little bit more satisfaction that way. All right guys, hope you liked the video. I made this because after I bought the wheels, I wanted to strip the pinstripe off and I couldn't find a video of anybody else doing it. So, just had to jump in, hoped it worked, and it did. So hopefully somebody else finds this video helpful. Alright guys, have a good one.